Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I thought I'd show how to make the little toilet paper mini that I had in one of my last videos. Um, these are toilet paper rolls from the Dollar Tree. I've been harping around about these for a while now. They're wider and, um, okay, they're wider and deeper than normal roll um, cardboard. So they kind of give you a little bit more area to work on. I just like the the wider width of it. Um, so you'll need, I only did four of these for my minis just to kind of keep them simple and small and cute. <clears throat> you can do more if, if, if you want. And then you'll need some binding rings. And then I just used some 6x6 six six paper. And I think you get two, you know, you got to measure this. And then you get two per sheet of paper because these are like three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by two and a half. And what I did is I measured the roll which is four by two and three quarters, and then take off. I like to have a border of the roll around it. I've, you know, I've also made them where you just cover the entire front and back, but I kind of like the shabby-ish look of it. So that's your preference. And then with the extra paper, I just did cut out borders for future use and for this use. And then I also stamped out flowers and butterflies and little punches that I have. And then you'll also need some trim for your tags just to give it a more whimsical look and to tie on to one of the binder rings. Some stickers for decoration. The last ones I did I used those three-dimensional stickers that recently came out from the Dollar Tree. But I've got these that I haven't been using very much. Um, I've got all these that I kind of want to use up and get rid of this pack. So, and I think it kind of goes nicely with my paper. And then for tools, um, you don't have to have the fancy tools, but I do because I have, um, I need the, all the help I can get for my hands. So I've got a crop a dial. Any hole punch will work. If you have an owl and that's all you have, that'll work. Just anything to get a hole big enough for these. And then I use a corner punch for my tags and a uh, Tim, Tim, Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to attach my uh, ribbons. But I also use glue too for that sometimes. And then I use gesso on the edges of these just to give it a kind of shabby look. Um, you know, that's optional. And I'm going to do some stamping, so I'll need my ink pad, blah, blah, blah. So let's get started, shall we? So um, there's the holes for now, my template. So we'll just start putting some paper on. So you want to just choose what you want for your cover. Um, I think with the uh, stickers I'm going to use, I want to keep a kind of, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. This could be kind of a travel or boy card, whatever. Um, oh yeah, so first we're going to gesso. No. Getting ahead of myself. And I just use my finger. And we'll let this dry too. Okay, so I will do that and be back. Okay, so my gesso is done. It's not dry yet, but it's dry enough to work with. So for these, I don't care to use um, adhesive on this uh, because sometimes the cardboard doesn't absorb it, so to speak. It's just the the either the you know ATG gun or the terrifically tacky or whatever tape you use just lays on top of it. It doesn't adhere to it. So I use glue. Okay. 
Okay, so I am ready to bind these, and you only need two for the whole book. I had a bunch out because I'm making a ton more of these for craft sales. So, you just open them up. I get these at Office Max. I'm sure Staples or Office Depot has them. They're, I think, $2.38 or something for the whole container, which is way cheaper than Dollar Tree. Though you can get these at Dollar Tree. And if you're only going to make a few, that's fine. But I make a, a lot of these for craft sales. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Now I'm going to um, punch my little tags. And I have this. But another way you can do it is snip off the corner and take that corner over here, you know, flip it over and cut it. Snip it again. And, you know, even if they're not perfect, they're fine. As far as photos, you can, you know, you could do like a 2 by yeah, you can do a 2 by 3 photo. An Instax size, or you can do, you know, like when you get, if you go to Walgreens or whatever and get that contact sheet, those little ones would be adorable on little tags. Um, you can do anything under probably two by three, or yeah, you could even do two and a half by three and a quarter for the photos. So, um, but especially if you have Instax, that'd be really cute. Or, or like I said, the oh, or um, school pictures would be adorable in here. Those would be really, really cute. Like if your son or daughter or you know, grandkid or whatever is graduating, or niece or nephew or neighbor, this would be a cute book for them. Boy or girl, I think. It's unisex. Okay, so I totally got derailed when I went to put some tools away, but in a good way, because I found... I caught my eye. This caught my eye was over on my other cabinet. And I got these from Tina Hale. She just sent me a package of really cool stuff because she's um, cleaning her craft room. And how adorable would this be? So I'm totally going to do a, um, a little mini for a high school kid or a girl or boy or even just a little kid. Anybody under 18 or over. doesn't matter. Um, for their pictures, how cute! I think she'll fit. So, totally different route. Uh, my paper smooches are really cool sentiments like hugs, just a note, you rock, way to go, celebrate, hey there, what's that? You're special. <clears throat> So some of these will work for the, my tags. But let me see what's on here. Oh, that'd be cute. OMG. Oh, these would be good. Incredible. Yeah, this is good. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not going to say I got derailed. I got serendipitized when I saw these. Okay, so. Oops. And then I found my little button. I'm having an avalanche. Okay, so let me decide. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, how cute, how cute, how cute, how cute, how cute. So you're going to have to go over here.
Well, it's the little girl one already because of the bow, I suppose. Oops. Well, that's sticky. Come on. Yesterday I was working with some dollar store, I think they were from Natasha. Come on, and they barely stuck. I had to use super glue practically to get them to stick. There. I think you can tell it's the OMG. Awesome sauce. Cute. I love these. These are sassafras. No, they're basic gray. Wow, I thought they were sassafras. But see, basic gray's all done. Sassafras is done. I don't know what happened to those companies. I suppose Michael's. Everybody's their own, uh, oh, what's it called? Go to a star. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So there's that. And then we want to make tuck spots. So. Oh, stamp it right on the balloons. Cute. Oh, this is working pretty well. Maybe I'll do hugs or friend. You see all these stamps. Oops. Oops. Didn't work well. All right, so print it just so it's not it's not glossy, so that'll help. We have a little tuck spot here where we can put a little tag. This little thing 
like any project I'm working on, if I stamp extras or do extras, that would be good. I throw it in here. So, let's see if I have anything in here. <coughs> that might be pretty. They're like different takes and shapes and a feather. There's a bicycle. Sorry if this is getting in your head. I can't really... I don't want to set that down anywhere. It'll be a big mess. Alright, maybe we'll look for smaller stuff too. Because then I keep this thing when I have little scraps of paper from a project, I just start punching stuff out. Like bows and hearts and butterflies and circle things and whatnot. Like that green. Butterfly, maybe. Little tiny tags. See, this is what I punched out from some of this paper that I'm working with. Little tags. Oh, that's cool. I like that color with it. That bow might be cute. There's a feather in the sticker uh, thing. <coughs> and a bicycle, excuse me. I think I saw a bike, didn't I? I'm making that up. I'm making that up. Alright, so no bike. But, eh, I might not do a bike. Because I'd have to do it here. It's too tall. Alright. So now we got some little doodads. That's a stamp that I carved um, using, you know, the carving tools. So I kind of like it. So that can be a tuck spot. I gotta get back to carving. I've got ideas for to carve more stamps. It's just not been enough time in the day. And then, I'll put this right in the middle. Oops, that's too much. everywhere.
Okay, so now I'm going to mimic some of the rhinestones on the kitty and just kind of put them wherever. Try to center them. <laughs> Now for the final finishing touch is the ribbon. I usually just do two. You can do whatever you want. And I'm going to do this one. And you can put dangles on here. My dangles are downstairs. And I might do it later. What are my dangles, you ask? <laughs> there. So, there you go. And you can also put little mats on here. Like cut out some contrasting papers. Because these are thin, but you don't have to. I think they're just fine. Once somebody puts their photos on there, it's good to go. So here's all my little tuck spots. There. None there. But they can put something here. Little tuck spot there. Tuck spot there. Of course, oops, there's a tuck spot. Here's a tuck spot. And there's the back cover. So there you go. It's super easy. And they're so fun to make. Each one has its own little personality. Um, so I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.